You're also gonna need some kind of tissue paper, greens, reds, orange, yellows, that kind of stuff. Um, you had one job. <laughs> National Lookalike Day. Woo! Uh, this just didn't happen by chance. It was planned. We hope you guys had a really awesome weekend. Just as a quick reminder, we do have our giveaway video. It's still going. If you're struggling to find it, work your way back. Look for the video called Giveaway. We're going to run that until Wednesday evening. And on Thursday morning, we're going to announce who the winner is. If you're somebody who's thinking, oh my goodness, I, I was planning to do that and I've just not done it yet, you still have time up until Wednesday evening. Sorry, I had to change. Today's scripture is from Timothy. Timothy? Timothy. Today's scripture is from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. I love the term God breathed, which will actually tie into today's activity later in, in the fun slot. Yep, God breathed dragons. And what it means is that the Bible, though physically written by man, was actually written by God. Right, and it's really laying on its its purpose, right, to, to teach, rebuke, correct, and train. It's God's instructions for our lives. It's really awesome that the New Testament has been translated like 1,500 different languages. The way to equip God's people is through God's word. It could come with this idea that it's a burden, but it's not. It's a blessing. God's word is a blessing to give us instruction. It's not a burden that there are these instructions. And then we're also called to live out God's word rather than just learn it, memorize it. We're called to live those words. It also says that God's word thoroughly equips us to do good works. Not just God's word helps you out a bit or points you a little bit in the right direction, but it thoroughly equips you. It gives you everything you need. God's word truly does equip us for everyday life. For our online Thursday youth group, we've actually been challenging ourselves to read the gospel of, of Matthew each and every day a chapter because the way that we're going to be able to equip ourselves in the world is to know the word. So that's what we've been doing every day. And you should do that too. Find a time to read your Bible every day. Folks, for today's fun slot, we are gonna make dragon toilet paper tissue animals. You're gonna blow into it and the things are gonna like wiggle. Maybe you'll come up with a more creative name as we go. We're uh, gonna make dragon's breath. No, I don't like that. better name. No, it's not, it's not. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you can use toilet paper rolls. We're gonna use this kitchen roll. We're gonna chop it in two so that we each have half. Will you? Dragon breathe. breather. Keep trying. You're also gonna need some kind of tissue paper. Greens, reds, orange, yellows, that kind of stuff. Um, you had one job. <laughs> Scissors, glue, pom-poms, um, and just some kind of beads. Like always, you can do something different, use different materials, whatever works for you. I'm gonna start by just wrapping our tubes. Construction paper would work. We're just using tissue paper because it's what we've got. I'm doing red, case to agree. What are you doing? Being creative. Well, it's probably gonna stick. My craft skills strike again. Hopefully you guys had more luck than that than uh, than I did. You're now gonna get some pom-poms. Ideally, probably the same color that you have. Two large ones that are gonna end up being your eyes, and two small ones that are gonna be your nose. Two up at the top, your big ones, two at the bottom for your small ones. Ah. Your nostrils are about the same size as your eyes. I know, I couldn't find smaller ones. Cut it a little. It'll look like this when you're up to about the same place we're up to. This point that you're gonna stick your eyes to the top, the two big ones. We don't have eyes, um, so we're just gonna stick a little black bead. By eyes, he doesn't mean eyeballs, he means googly eyes. Do not put your eyeballs on it. Yeah, that is a true statement. Yours should look like this. We're gonna be making the fire for the dragon's mouth. We're gonna just use some orange and yellow, maybe a little bit of red. Gonna cut them into strips, glue them on the inside. Oops, I did that on the wrong side. Wait, for real? Yeah. Just a happy little accident. Cloud or something. 
Every mistake is a new opportunity. It's just hot-headed. That's them. Let's show you what they look like. And that's our little projects. You're supposed to blow into them and the things are supposed to wiggle. It's awesome. You guys should make one and uh, send us a picture and show us what it looks like. It's really simple and also just really fun. That was really fun to make. Yeah, cute. So yeah, don't forget about our giveaway. You can find it in a previous video. So make sure you send us a picture of one of these that you make or send us a picture of you with somebody you're twinning with. Ooh, yeah. And that's everything for today. So we'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye. Bye.